Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to tell you about how load shading. Okay, load shading has like officially uh, finished in Zambia. Over a week ago, uh, the, mean, the MD, the managing director for our only utility company in Zambia, electricity utility company in Zambia, Zesco, uh, declared officially declared that the load shedding is over. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you how the president or how government made sure that load shedding is okay. How what they did to make sure that uh, load shedding is uh, over in Zambia. Okay, if you are new on my channel, my name is Travel Tenement. All I do is travel or to share Zambian positive stories about the happenings around uh, Zambia or in future everywhere I go. It's all about positivity. Yes, very little about negative. Did you know what I said about the Rwandese? Please check out the video how the Rwandese uh, uh, have got a lot of businesses in Zambia such that most of them, even after the 1994 genocide, was over most of them have not even gone back home some do go but they still come back why because they have loved zambia why do they love zambia watch the video one more time so zesco uh you know uh we had electricity deficit just at from the from the month of january to like february so uh, load shedding took place in a period of about one month only. Only one month. But trust me, as Zambians, we felt like one month was like a year. And I'm not talking of load shedding where uh, power will like you go. Uh, like the whole day you don't have power. Some places to take a maximum of 12 hours. There were places like in my place, sometimes it will just go for three hours. Sometimes it will not even go. There will be complete power 24-7. Yeah, it would happen like that during the same month of load shedding. Now, what reminded me of this is I met a younger man. Uh, we used to go to the same church. I used to know the mother before she passed on. He, they were Nigerians. So the mother, they returned to Nigeria where the mother passed on and so forth. Uh, but when he came back, he had the story to tell. First, he went to university to study computer engineering uh, in India. When he came back, he had an experience of India, an experience of Nigeria, and an experience of Zambia. Now, since he grew up in Zambia, then he went back to his origin, or country of origin in uh, Nigeria. He observed what we call load shedding. And the guy, I met him last week at East Park Shopping Mall. So when we were talking, and I couldn't recognize him. So he's the one who recognized me. Wait a minute. I know you from somewhere, right? Ah, we used to go to the same church. I used to know. So when he introduced himself, I said, wait a minute. I also recognize you. So this young man was like, um, uh, and he had just getting married with, a, I could see a, a ring uh, on his finger. Uh, so, uh, and he was telling me how he has married a Zambian lady and how they discussed uh, after marriage that he, where would they settle, should they settle in Zambia or settle in Nigeria. So, after their own deliberation, they decided that, well, they will settle in Zambia. When I asked him why he felt Zambia would be a better place for him, uh, he told me the same reasons I'm now telling you. When you are talking of load shedding, he said in Nigeria, what you call load shedding in Zambia, I even laughed. I was even, he said he was even laughing to hear in Zambia what we are calling load shedding. He said, that is not load shedding. If you want to know load shedding, go to Nigeria. That is where even the power, the electricity, he said in Zambia, they even notify you. Uh, this time there is no power or there is so, so. He said in Nigeria, there is nothing like that. So what government did now, uh, let's see, let's talk about what has caused or what government did. You know, when they entered the power, there were some turbines. Uh, uh, last week I was in Livingstone for about a week. Yeah, I went to uh, the falls. I made some brilliant videos about the Victoria Falls, about the lion. I did a lion walk in Livingstone. 
Now, what surprised me is uh, when uh, we were at the falls, uh, is that uh, we had uh, that Victoria Falls because at the same port they also there is also there are also turbines which also generate power to include other power generation sources we have like the North Kariba, the Itezi Itezi, Lusiwasi. Of course, so the Victoria Falls also generates power. So at the falls there, you can imagine where that water goes, there is electricity generation. Just like the Siavonga in Lake Kariba, where I went, apart from the Kafue Gorge. So uh, what happens is that uh, uh, there were two uh, turbines which were not working for close to more than 10 years, actually. More than 10 years. Uh, the turbines were not, uh, the previous government just neglected them, they couldn't. Uh, uh, so what government did was uh, to fix the two turbines so that it could increase power generation. You know, we have a lot of water. Even when you see for yourself at the falls, when you see the curtain of the Victoria Falls, the world's largest falls, you can imagine where it is going and how much generation can be made from there. So it increased the generation. Number two, is by government negotiating with the Mamba Koreadis. Yes, the Mamba uh, Koreadis, uh, which they, they make electricity using thermal, the thermal plant. So these are some of the reasons. So they went to negotiate because they were also not producing power at full capacity. So that is how they managed to negotiate with them so that they can increase generation. The other thing also, so this is what government like basically did. Just work on the Mamba Koreadis and also increase the output of the uh, Victoria Falls or the Mosotunya Hydro Power Station from the Victoria Falls. Then, so this is what like they did. Then there were other factors. In Zambia, it's been raining. Uh, this rain season has been extremely heavy. Uh, every single day, I remember my previous video. Okay, before I talked about the Rwandese in Zambia video. I did a video where I was talking about um, uh, I was talking about how I was making a video in the midst of the rains because the rains could not give me time when I was celebrating three years on my channel and so forth. So I was very excited, but uh, I didn't want that day to miss because when I saw from morning, the rains were not stopping. When it was late afternoon, I said, well, let me just put the camera in the shade and I'll continue shooting, and I did it. So the other factors that because due to a lot of rains, uh, most of uh, our reservoirs or our water bodies, like the rivers, which generate power, uh, there has been so much power such that uh, electricity generation in our many places where we get electricity, uh, the water levels which were low have like risen a lot. So that is how the electricity generation uh, was sorted out. So, so far as we are talking in Zambia right now, there is no problem with, the, there are no problems with the electricity. I want you to comment down below. I remember my friend Michero DIY from the UK. Shout out to you, brother. Yes, he's also a, a DIY. As you can see the name DIY. Yes, it's about DIY, do it yourself. So he also uh, commented, he said, to be honest with you, since he went to the UK, where he's been, I think, for over 30 years, but he, he occasionally visits Zambia, uh, he mentioned something very strange. He said, uh, since he went to the UK, the way the load shedding, most people there, they don't even know it. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened. So he was like... He, that is not there. So, I mean, we've been experiencing, but we have the capacity. I'm sure this government will do something. Zambia, because we have so much water, such that um, even during load shedding, by the way, when we had load shedding, there were certain things which, uh, there were certain countries, because Zambia, the electricity we have in Zambia is more than we can use in our country. That's why... Uh, Zambia uh, exports uh, to like six countries electricity. One of them is uh, Congo Diara. Sometimes in Malawi, we have um, Namibia gets power from Zambia, Botswana, and also South Africa. Yes, there is, I don't know what they call that corridor, whatever, which they supply. You know that South Africa, they have electricity 
uh, problems right now as we are talking. So Zambia also supplies power. So it meaning that look at what we have. The resources we have in Zambia has the capacity to generate even more electricity, uh, I mean to supply more electricity outside uh, such that we um, wouldn't be experiencing load shedding. We hope this one will be the end, although one month was like it brought a lot of talk it was like forever so this is how the electricity issue uh has like minimized i'll bring more topics and then uh, also i intend to, to to travel to nchwara ceremony so just a reminder uh for those of you guys if it is in your power to support me so nchwara ceremony is one of zambia's maybe second biggest traditional ceremony, annual traditional ceremony of the Ngoni speaking people of the eastern province in Chipata. So I intend to go there. So if it is in your power guys, I'm looking for uh, if you can join forces with me, you want to send me something I can, I can use like for my transportation going my accommodation, the three days minimum, but I will intend to go six days so that I can also tell you other stories in that particular area apart from the, yeah, apart from the, the Nchuala traditional ceremony. So guys, you're then from there, remember, I have got a target of showing you more waterfalls in Zambia. Apart from the Victoria Falls, I already told you number one, but the falls, I'm not going just now because it is raining heavily. But after the rains have stopped, I'm going for the waterfalls. I'll show you more waterfalls than any other person has ever shown you. Maybe even Western media. Yes, I'll also show you a lot of parks after the waterfalls series. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you are new on my channel, do me a favor. Subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Do you know that, guys, if you also um, share my video, that will help me a lot because I have a target this year to hit at least 100K, 100,000 subscribers so that I'm more powerful, I'm more uh, financially. 100K will help me that if I make videos, I'll be able to finance a lot of my trips without requesting you uh, for regular help like this. So... I'll, I'll go many places anyway, guys. So for today, let me end here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the, my next video. Peace. Adios. Amigos.